This sexy girl is a primitive human from 65,000 years ago. Since she was wearing too little, she had to find a hash dinosaur egg to sleep on. What she didn't expect was that as the other little dinosaurs hatched one by one, the mother dinosaur took the girl as her own child. Every day, the mother dinosaur would bring different food for her to eat. Her life was very happy and stable, but Bella is not really willing to live with the dinosaurs. A few dancing days ago, she was living in a tribe of primitive people. The chief of the Aja tribe wanted to hold a ritual to the gods. It was said that through this ritual, they would be able to have the gods bless them with a larger harvest of food tomorrow. Then, Bella and two other girls were chosen as the sacrifice because of their better figure. The ritual was about to begin. One girl was so humiliated that she ran away halfway. However, she accidentally ran in the wrong direction and finally fell off a cliff and died. The chief of the clan was angry that one of the sacrifices was missing. He immediately arranged his subordinates to rip off the two girls' cloaks. The patriarch announced on the spot that the ritual started early. Suddenly, the ritual site suddenly blew a gale. The tribe members were blown in all directions and fled to the ground to avoid the wind. Some slow reactors were even blown off the cliff by the gale. The girls saw the guards were running away, so Bella jumped into the sea, topped the wind and swam deep into the sea. It is said that girls with big breasts often have not a bad luck. Bella just swam a few kilometers and ran into another tribe's fishing boat. Captain Jack saw the girl in the seawater and thought he saw a mermaid. He tossed a net over and managed to save Bella. He then took Bella back to the tribe. The members of the tribe had never seen a girl with blonde hair before and all gathered around to watch. They talked about Bella's blonde hair and discussed the sun tattoo on her forehead. On the other hand, the leader of the tribe found that all his offerings were gone. But the time for the sacrifice was coming up. He grabbed all the female creatures of the entire tribe. He wanted to pick another sacrifice out. However, since the number of people needed for the annual sacrifice was very large, the remaining girls were out of shape. The patriarch felt that God had no appetite at first glance. There was no choice. The patriarch had to study Bella's escape route. Then, he took his soldiers with him and prepared to set out to capture Bella back. This is a 65,000 year old primitive tribe. The members of the tribe are very kind, simple and brave. They had just captured a seven to eight meter long dinosaur alive for tonight's dinner. What they did not expect was that, due to their negligence, the dinosaur broke free from the rope and was roaring and pouncing on the crowd. People lit a bonfire to scare the dinosaur. What they did not expect was that the dinosaur rushed directly to the campfire. Finally, they poured all the stock oil on the ground ready to wait until the dinosaur rushed over and immediately lit the fuel. Flames flared up on the dinosaur. The high temperature quickly melted the dinosaur's skin so that he felt the temperature of the fire. With the dinosaur in the middle of the fire hissing, screaming, and struggling, the smell of meat has drifted to the entire beach. Gradually, the dinosaur's struggle became weaker, and members of the tribe excitedly rushed forward to dismantle the dinosaur. Soon, the tribe made it into dinner. The tribe members were happily singing and dancing. Only the newly arrived Bella was ostracized by the crowd. She could only be alone on the beach. Just then, Jack, however, rushed over to Bella with food and chatted to her. Then, he also wanted to give her the bone necklace. So, their relationship became more and more intimate. Every day after hunting, Jack will bring fresh food to visit her here. What he didn't expect was that the fans of Jack's tribe followed him secretly. Seeing this scene, Anna found the other girls of the tribe to slander Bella for stealing Jack's things. The tribe was very angry. Anna fooled a few people into going with her to bully Bella. Anna drew her daughter and prepared to kill her lover. Jack finally arrived and explained everything to everyone. Finally, Anna had to bow down and admit her mistake, but she hated Bella even more. The chief of another tribe arrived with a hunting team. Anna immediately led the way for the patriarch. Bella ran away. The patriarch took the small group to chase Bella. Bella ran over the mountains to a more desolate place. Finally, she managed to reach the neighborhood of Triceratops. In the face of the Triceratops, which weighed several tons and weighed as much as a tank. Bella was no match for him. In the end, the Patriarch was also the Triceratops top fly more than 10 meters. And finally, the Patriarch was unconscious. When Jack returned from hunting to understand what happened, he immediately brought a few people to the mountain to look for people. However, he did not find Bella, but found a seriously injured Patriarch. Jack immediately arranged for the team to bring the Patriarch back to the tribe. To his surprise, the Triceratops reappeared and killed a member. Jack did not want to see more of his people die. So, 
he took the initiative to shout to attract the attention of the Triceratops. The enraged Triceratops kept charging at Jack's ass, unexpectedly. At the critical moment, Jack blocked to a corner. Triceratops then fell off the cliff because of the inertia of willingness. After returning, Jack held a funeral for the dead team members. Just when everyone mourned their companions, Anna took a torch and lit up the hut that Bella had built up with great difficulty. Jack, touched by the scene, could not help but rush into the primeval forest alone, knowing that he would find Bella. Meanwhile, Bella stumbles through the jungle to explore the way out. Suddenly, she encounters a gecko that is bigger than a tiger. He is scared and backs away. Accidentally, she falls into the trap of a man-eating flower. Bella struggled for a long time before she could easily get out. However, she found that her hair was bitten by the man-eaters. Fortunately, she brought along the dagger given to her by Jack. She decisively cut off her hair and managed to escape. A day and a night of running let Bella has long been exhausted. The cold wind at night was very cold. With nowhere else to go, she had to find a hatching dinosaur egg to sleep on. But what she didn't expect was that when she woke up, all the other little dinosaurs hatched and the mother dinosaur took Bella as her child. Since then, Bella has lived a happy life with the dinosaur family. Jack searched all night and only found a strand of Bella's blonde hair. He thought she had been eaten by the man-eating flowers. Jack was very sad and went back to the tribe. Soon after, the two tribes merged together in order to survive. And everyone went out hunting together, but Jack was captured by a pterodactyl because he was distracted. Jack was caught by a pterodactyl and thrown back to the pterodactyl's lair. The pterodactyl wanted to feed the man as food for the baby. However, the man's vitality is very strong even to the pterosaur's domain. He is still clutching the spear and keep resisting. Finally, the dragon was accidentally cut off his wings. The pterodactyl instantly lost the air advantage. It had to duel with the man. Finally, Jack pushed the pterodactyl off the cliff. Then, Jack ran down the mountain with a spear to kill the pterosaur completely. Just then, the dinosaur hissed again in the distance, and Jack looked over alertly. In the afternoon, he saw that Bella was playing with the dinosaur. Jack thought Bella was being chased and ran over. They finally reunited. Bella also told Jack about his experience. Unexpectedly, a hunting crew from another tribe saw the scene and quietly told the news to the patriarch. Bella and Jack were thrilled with the sport. The next morning, Jack just covered his back to get up. He said he was going back to explain for Bella. Let the clan chief no longer hold the ritual. Then Jack then take her back to live. He didn't expect Jack to be caught by the matriarch just before he returned. The matriarch pressed Jack for information about Bella. Jack wouldn't say anything, so the matriarch tied Jack to a burning raft and plunged him into the sea to become the new sacrifice. Unfortunately, Jack was not drowned instead, giving him the chance to run back again and rejoin Bella. It was very heartbreaking to see her lover being tortured into Bella because of her. She hurriedly took out small fish to make a charcoal grilled live fish for Jack. Unexpectedly, the white smoke from the barbecue became the best mark. A fish have not yet eaten. The patriarch came. No way. They can only climb up the cliff face. They wanted to use the terrain to escape the pursuit. However, the patriarch kept standing at the highest point looking down on them. They tossed and turned for half a day, but still could not escape the fate of being killed. At the critical moment, the mother dinosaur suddenly appeared. It roared and rushed over and scattered the crowd. The mother dinosaur took Bell away. The unlucky Jack was abandoned. When the dinosaur mother left, he was taken back to the tribe by the chief and tied up. The patriarch said he was going to kill him to raise sacrifice. Suddenly, a tsunami occurred on the island. A group of crabs the size of a jeep appeared on the beach. The crabs were eating people everywhere. The crowd screamed and scattered but no one to Jack untied the rope. The critical moment, Bella came running over. She untied Jack's rope and took him to the raft on the shore. The sea was so rough that the patriarch felt that he would let the water flow backwards. However, it didn't take long for him to be swallowed by the big waves. Jack's several people were lucky to be washed by the waves to another island. From then on, they lived a happy life on this island.